I thank you, Madam Speaker. I understand this is a split call. Dr Deborah Russell. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to uh, echo some of the comments made by our colleagues on the other side of the House. The Finance and Expenditure Committee, while we may fight tooth and nail over some policy issues, is nevertheless uh, quite committed to arguing through the technical details of many bills and getting them right. So I'm looking forward to working with uh, Honourable Amy Adams and the Honourable Judith Collins, Honourable David Carter uh, and other members of the Finance and Expenditure Committee to get this, uh, to work through the technical details of this bill. I do want to address just one point that has been raised by the members of the opposition. Uh, they might stand passing if they think we're surprised to be a government. I think they're even more surprised to be an opposition and they possibly need to learn how MMP works. But getting back to, to uh, the, this idea about the dual mandate and particularly looking at maximum sustainable employment. Now, the Honourable David Carter raised an interesting point here that perhaps we weren't even sure what this term means. Well, may I suggest that the Select Committee will work hard on that phrase of maximum sustainable employment. We've talked a little bit in this debate about how pernicious high inflation could be, how the Reserve Bank uh, Act was brought in in order to deal with high inflation. May I suggest that high unemployment is pernicious as well? Uh, and even that 4% unemployment figure we've had, it disguises uh, partial employment, it disguises the gig economy, uh, it disguises the fact that many people have not had uh, long-term employment, and that has a long-term effect on them. Uh, graduates who don't get work coming out of university, it holds them back right throughout their lives. Uh, people who um, don't have sustained employment find that it affects not just their bank balance, but their actual place in the community. So focusing on employment is a, a worthy goal. It is something that we do need to focus on. I'm looking forward to working through this bill and working out just exactly how we can ensure that our uh, Reserve Bank uh, can work towards focusing on these dual goals of, uh, of keeping inflation under control and keeping unemployment under control too. Madam Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Madam Chair. Lawrence Yule. My apologies, Madam Chair. I know how much um, everybody wants.